Okay, in this video we're checking out the VFly Finder 2. This is like an updated version of the lost model alarm that I reviewed a, I forget, as a, a few months ago. And it looks pretty much the same as the version 1. So you got the version 2 on the left here and the version 1 on the right. Uh, I believe the buzzer is the same. It sounds about the same in terms of loudness. Uh, you can hear it from about 80 meters away, uh, depending upon ambient noise and whatever is it was in your environment uh if you want all the features of the, uh, the the first version of the buzzer check out my first video i'll put a card in the corner of that one i'm not going to cover every detail of the the version 2 buzzer I'm just going to cover the new features and what they've added so if you want to see the full uh features of the buzzer check out the uh, version 1 video Essentially what they did is, well there's a few things that they changed, but one of the big things that they changed was uh, increase the working time. So if you look at the documentation here, it says that it will go up to 30 hours. So if you lose your drone up in a tree or something and you can't get it till the next day, it'll still beep up to 30 hours. Whereas the version 1, the working time was only up to 6 hours. And I think what they did was they changed the firmware and the way that the buzzer worked. So uh, it's basically the alarm pattern. First 30 seconds you have low volume and then you have uh, 30 seconds to two hours you have max volume every four seconds. And then after two hours you have max volume only every 10 seconds. So basically it's saving power by not beeping uh, at a higher frequency as time goes on. So that's I think the big difference in terms of getting a longer working time. And then the a couple more features they added. They added a little uh, photodiode sensor here that measures light and then a really bright LED. So if it's dark, and I'll have to demonstrate that when when, they're, when, it's, when I cover it up and, the, and it beeps, it'll shine this very bright LED so that if it's at night and, or if you're in somewhere it's really dark and uh, you can't really tell where it is, but you can hear it, the light will shine very brightly and you'll be able to see that it's very hard to miss. It's extremely very bright, but if it's light out, this the LED won't flash. It also, also saves battery during the daytime. It'll just beep and not flash the LED, but at night, when it's dark, it will flash the LED. And then lastly, the I think the biggest difference here between the version one and version two is the ability to connect it to a receiver and use a PWM sig signal to um, uh, trigger the alarm. Whereas before you could just uh, connect it up to a flight controller, now you can connect it directly to a receiver. I'll demonstrate that. You know, for those of you guys that aren't, or well, would be using this in something not a drone, like a quadcopter with a flight controller, and just a plane, for example, with just a receiver, then this feature is going to be useful for you. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, so I just got a little FlySky receiver here. It's got PWM ports that you would typically find on an airplane, and just have it bound to this. Uh, FlySky radio here, it's actually an Ishii and I6. It's a clone of the FlySky I6, so it'll work the same way. And then I got the lead here for the in the receiver on channel 5, which I set up for one of these switches. And I'm going to plug this into the buzzer. And by the way, the plug on the buzzer is the same on the version 1 and version 2. And we'll go ahead and I'll just plug it in, and you'll see that it'll, it'll, start, it'll turn on. So you can see that the receiver's part on, you have power to the buzzer. And of course, in this state, it just looks like it's powered on, nothing unusual going on. You can then have it already set up on my radio. So I have it set up on channel five and on this uh, switch over here in the corner, right right over here. And I, I can use the switch now on the radio to trigger the alarm. <coughs> Extremely loud. And I think, let me see if I cover this up and make it dark. And you can see the LED. Now you can see the LED going off when I cover up that light sensor so it, it can tell that it's dark. And if you, if you trigger it with uh, in bright light, the LED won't go off. Yeah, it's extremely loud. And of course the buzzer works the same way as before. If it loses power, it'll, it'll have a low sounding alarm for 30 seconds. Then I'll go to the very loud alarm every four seconds, and then uh, after two hours I'll go every ten seconds. Then to disarm it, you can just uh, press the button here for three seconds. 
make three quick tones like that, and that's disarmed now. It pretty much works the same as before. Yeah, so that's pretty much it in terms of the new features of the buzzer, the LED, the light sensor, and the alarm pattern is a little bit different to save battery. It has a longer working time, and the ability to connect it directly to a receiver with a PWM output so you can trigger it via transmitter. Makes it very useful for uh, those of you guys that are using this on fixed wings. But that's pretty much it for the differences between the uh, version 2 and the version 1. Uh, check out the other video if you want to see the all the features of this buzzer, because all the features in version 1 are also in version 2. These are just the new features. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.